I'm Debbie Steinberg, and I am a professor at Virginia Instant Marine Science, just across the river there. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about uh, plankton. So we're gonna we're gonna do a, actually do a plankton tow. We're gonna catch some plankton uh, in a few minutes, and that's the oh, it's just caught in there. So, Captain. Okay. All right. Here goes the net. Now, how many of you have actually seen jellyfish before in the water when you're swimming? Or who's gotten stung before? Anybody? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what we're going to get today. We'll probably get some what we call copepods, which um, in Greek means paddle foot. And those are those little insect things with the antenna. I hope we'll get some comb jellies and maybe we'll get lucky. And We'll get a we'll get a larger um, spinning nettle. So if I get a couple volunteers, I'll hand you the net. <laughs> Smells like plankton. Oh boy! Okay, we definitely got some cone jellies, which I'm not too surprised about. All right, so all right. You're going to see it go glop, glop, glop here for a minute. Oh, we got, all right, we also got a sea nettle. Okay, so I'll pass this around first. So this is a little, little sea nettle jellyfish. This one stings. Don't put your hand in there. I want you to see them moving. These do not sting. So if you like, you can open up the jar and you can poke it and see what a jellyfish feels like. You can try a little piece of it if you want. Like, eat it, try it? Uh-huh. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like oyster. Tastes just like seawater. Does anyone want to hold it? I'll hold it. Okay. I'm going to eat it though. It, all it tastes like is salt water. It tastes like salt water flavored jello. <laughs> do it again. I want to take a picture. Yeah, do it again. I want to take a picture. All the way back. It's one of those out of eight. Don't even need to chew. No. Amazing. Tastes like salt. Just salt water, yeah. So hold that up to the light. I'm Greg Losey, and I'm the uh, captain of the Alliance. And uh, we've been running in Yorktown for about six years and uh, with Vim's right across the river from us we've always wanted to get some sort of a, a cooperative effort going on and uh, it's real exciting for us to finally make that happen and to get some of the scientists out here and uh, uh, learn a little science for ourselves and our passengers it's just uh, another dimension that's added to our trips and a lot more fun for us.